He is very unprepared. Yeah, I felt so uncomfortable. First of all, his truck smelled and it was dirty and he didn't even shower in three days, but that's none of my business. If he's that kind of person, that's fine. I just told him I'm going to respect his truck. So when I got on his truck and everything, I'm talking about, it wasn't even five minutes of me being on his truck and he's like, oh, um, I'm single and stuff like that. Welcome back to the channel. I have another story time for you today. And in this video right here, we're going to listen to a story from Drilla. You guys could definitely check her out on YouTube. New driver, new female driver, just got her CDL. And now she's with a company out of Mississippi that you guys should know. It's an affiliation with US Express, but the trainer in her story here is very very inappropriate no more wasting time let's get it hold on i just wanted to share this story um about what happened the past couple of days with me and my trainer i had to get off of this truck i just felt super uncomfortable my whole cdo experience has been pretty great so far. I've been going through this process since May. So ever since May, I've been going through this CDL journey. And as you all may know, I attended Fleet Force Truck Driving School. And it was my favorite. Like out of everything I've done so far, this has been, Fleet Force was my favorite experience because I had male instructors who didn't harass me, who were very respectful, thorough, and professional. I started with Total and we did the orientation experience when you guys may have seen those videos. So I had a pretty experience, a pretty good experience at Total so far. Um, the backing range was great. They also made me get out and look and be thorough. So now that I'm with my trainer, it's been two days and I tried to do pre-trip and he's telling me, I don't have to do pre-trip, just go check the tires and get back in the truck. And that doesn't make me feel safe because I'm currently in Illinois and We've driven in some bad weather so far, like heavy rain and it's really cold and it could turn into ice and things like that. We've driven in some bad weather today. I'm trying to tell him something's wrong. He's like, oh no, it's just because you're driving. So I'm like, okay, whatever. We just got out of Tennessee and, you know, Kentucky and going through different mountains and I'm using like the J brake and everything. And I keep telling him the air pressure is dropping. So finally we leave this yard and, um, I told him I would prefer him to just double check me and make sure I'm doing everything correctly because I'm new, like I'm still a student. This is only my second day in training. He didn't check after me. And I think you call it the glad hand. It came undone. So we're on a hill and we're literally like at an incline and there's a truck behind us and we're leaving the terminal or the yard, I, I told him we're losing air. He's like, oh no, it's fine. The alarms come on. So he's like, pull the brakes out. So he pulled the brakes out and you know, I'm, I'm helping it build the PSI back up or whatever. And then we end up driving off, pulling off on the shoulder and we get on the shoulder. He saw a blue airline, it's um disconnected. It's literally just hanging off. So I told him, I said, something was wrong. That's why I told you to come check me. It's very hard being a woman in this industry when people make you feel uncomfortable, specifically guys. Like if you tell someone in your relation, you're in a relationship or you're not interested, you shouldn't continue to like pursue them or make them feel uncomfortable by making like um, comments that just are inappropriate. He started yelling at me and then I'm yelling back at him. And he said, I'm not gonna argue with you. I said, I'm not gonna argue with you. I'm just matching your energy. I don't know why you're yelling at me. Like I'm a female, I'm speaking to you like this. I expect you to give me the same respect, but he didn't, he was yelling at me. But then he's telling me, oh, I'm a gentleman. I'm a ladies man, but why is your first instinct to yell at me? So I called my fleet manager because we ended up waiting at a terminal. He tells them he doesn't want to pick up the load in Ohio. He said, I don't want to pick up this load in Ohio. It's raining, it's bad weather. I don't want to, you know, get stuck in ice or whatever. And I'm with this new student. I left him there. But when we got to that terminal, I got out and I called my fleet manager and I told him everything that was going on. And he apologized several times. And he told me that, you know, that's definitely not what they do at Total and they don't stand for that. They're known for like, 
supporting women. So he apologized several times. Um, he put money on the fuel card. He told me he's going to get me a hotel and get me a rental car to drive back home. I felt so uncomfortable. First of all, his truck smelled and it was dirty and he didn't even shower in three days, but that's none of my business. If he's that kind of person, that's fine. I just told him I'm gonna respect his truck. So when I got on his truck and everything, I'm talking about, it wasn't even five minutes of me being on his truck and he's like, oh, um, I'm single and stuff like that. And then once he saw that I just kind of closed off to him, I just stopped looking at him. At that point, I couldn't even make eye contact because I'm like, oh my gosh, here we go. Like, I don't want to deal with this. So he was telling me he's single. And then um, after that, he's like, yeah, some guys become trainers just so they can hit on females, but I'm not that kind of guy. So I'm like, okay, good, now we're good. But bro, he kept on, he was just like, I like females, your complexion. And no offense to anybody of different races because I'm not like prejudiced or uh, what do they call it? I can't remember the other word. I'm not racist or anything. He said, oh, I like women of your complexion. I don't like white women because they scream rape. He's like, I bet you like black guys, huh? Because he's supposed to be black. I'm like, I don't care what race someone is. Like if I like them, I like them. So then he just keeps making comments. So finally I said, you know what? I'm not even gonna engage in the conversation with him. I'm just going to ignore him or kind of like keep it short. So when he would say things, I would just be like, oh, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. And then I would try to change the topic to something about trucking. So I'm like, so how do I do this? How oh, you don't have to worry about that. Like he just kept saying he was gonna show me, but in two days I've learned nothing. I've learned more about his relationships, his past relationships than anything. There's so many people that want female trainers. There's a hold. I told them I'm fine with a male trainer as long as they respect me. So I'm supposed to be going with a guy next week and they said he has a lot of good reviews and he's respectful. We'll see how it goes. He just made me uncomfortable. I hate that I even have this story to tell, but then again, it may help others. Um, that's really why I'm sharing it. There you have it a full situation of drilla has to get off her truck because of the trainer just not training being inappropriate and once i said before i said this plenty plenty of times there must be some kind of respect between the male and the female when it comes to training on the truck males you're there to train you are paid to train that's it that's it you should not be talking about relationships you should not be talking about oh who i like and who i don't like you you should not be talking about none of that all conversations should be about the truck and training the young lady as such and i can feel how and why she would feel some kind of way being with this particular male trainer that's what you guys need to do man y'all y'all need to just be <laughs> be the trainer and train but of course as always as i said before i'm going to leave this up to you guys and see what you guys think because it's only coming from one side never hear the trainer side of the story and see what was their assessment with the trainee but listen this is a common occurrence though i mean this is not like a a story that we haven't heard before about a male trainer trying to you know push up or be inappropriate to a female trainer while they are a trainee while they are on the truck and it's supposed to be all about business this like ti son said stand on business when you're training a female trainer bro then after you get finished training her and if the vibe between y'all on the truck was right then maybe but after before that it's all about business and you want to know what the business is the business is about training and that's it show them how to operate the truck show them what to do when they're at the uh, shippers and receivers let them know what they need to do with the crawl con that's it anything else beyond that 
that's supposed to be for later but drivers let me know what you guys think in the comments below shout out to drilla for sharing the story if you guys want to know more about the story go and check out her channel on youtube and let her know lockout men sent you make sure you guys subscribe for more